In this video, we're gonna talk about performance anxiety in trading. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So this video, we're gonna talk about performance anxiety. No, not that type of performance anxiety, performance anxiety in trading. Okay, so let's kind of define what I mean by that. What I mean is, you're coming to a certain point of time in trading. That could be kind of the open uh, key data release like non-farm payrolls or something that's significant relevant to the market you're trading. Perhaps it's earnings on the stock. Whatever it is, it's waiting for something. And what happens is as you're approaching that, something is changing internally in your body that is making you behave differently. So, you know, maybe you've got uh, elevated heart rate, perhaps you're sitting on the edge of your chair, you know, extreme might be, you know, you're sweating, whatever it may be, but something is occurring that's making you perceive that as, as almost a dangerous scenario. So why do we get this and how can we avoid it? Because obviously, you know, we've talked about this before and if you haven't watched the videos, go and check them out, consider kind of subscribing and, and going and look at the other videos we've done. When your mental state changes from the different position of your brain where you're making the decisions, you change from a generally a good trader or a kind of trader that's got potential to somebody who's just trading like an animal. You know, you're trading from the a fight or flight mechanism, and you don't want to get into that state. We, we talk about you know that tipping point of, of the stress or the emotional thermometer. And this kind of brings up this bizarre uh, dial that I've got here. And I've used this dial before when I've talked about you know emotional thermometer and how you can kind of keep yourself alert in the right kind of zone. But let's talk about it in, in respect of stress, because stress is the obviously the big thing that's going to cause us to have this performance anxiety. Now, what we want as traders is we want to be alert enough to be able to perform at the right level. We don't want to be lazy. And if we assume that, uh, you know, Min is kind of sitting on your sofa, very content, very relaxed, lounging back, got no worries in the world, no concerns in the world. You're just kind of there doing nothing whether you're listening to music or, or whatever it may be. Max would be, hey, I'm about to kind of jump off a cliff. Um, you know, there's a guy holding a gun to my head or something where, you know, this pure kind of maximum stress before passing out. If you consider those are the two extremes, obviously we don't want to be at either extreme when we're about to trade. We want to be alert, focused, you know, in, uh, taking all the inputs in, you know, not missing anything, doing the right kind of process, uh, cognitive loads, just enough that we can, we can, um, you know, uh, take all the information in and actually process it and create an outcome for it, whether that's a trade or whether that's a decision. So it's just that little sweet spot. And, you know, performance anxiety is when we have too much stress, when we're going into the open with too much stress, too much concern. What it comes down to is too much concern of the outcome of that individual trade or that individual day or that individual data release. And as we know as traders, that's a bad thing to be doing because we want to have the law of numbers play on our side. We want to have enough days, enough trades that our edge will play out over time. If we're putting too much weight onto one individual trade, a lot of luck comes into play then, and that's not really what we want. Of course, we could like a little bit of luck from time to time. A good string of winners is, is good, uh, but we know that we have to play the numbers game. And so let's go back to the point, stress. We don't wanna to have too much stress. So what is causing this performance anxiety? Why are we going into the day? Why are we going into the data release stressed? Couple of things. One is the fear of loss. And this is the big one. And actually, often you think, ah, it's not fear of loss, I'm not frightened of losing. But ultimately, there's a lot of things that happen before that, uh, before you come to the point of fear of loss. Let's say you've had a really good winning streak and you're now trading small size. Are you gonna be frightened of loss for the trade? You're not, you're not gonna be frightened of loss. Perhaps you've had a losing streak and now you feel a bit more pressure to perform, a bit more pressure to get a good green day because you've had a bit of a bad week or a bit of a bad month. Does your fear of loss increase? Probably it does. You probably at that point now where you think, you know what, I've put a lot more weight on this day because you know it's Friday now, I've done this, I've done that, I need to get a green week and it's gonna be disappointing if I don't, I've lost a lot of money in the last week or, or whatever it may be, the pressure starts to pile up. So you need to find a way of not being concerned about the loss because have we talked about this before, if you're concerned about the loss, you're gonna trade from a completely different aspect. You're gonna be snatching at profits. You're gonna not wanna take losers. Uh, it just puts you in a complete wrong frame of mind. So 
understanding that often this performance anxiety is because fear of loss. And it's not always obvious at first. It's not always obvious that you think, I am scared of the loss, but actually it can come down to that. So how do you kind of avoid that? We go to the next thing, it's position size. Now that could be on its own, an actual a thing on its own, which is causing you stress. Your position size is too much. Perhaps you're going into data or you're going into the day with too much size on, and that's gonna move your P&L in a big, a big amount, which actually will translate to moving your stress levels in a big amount, because obviously your PL is doubling or halving extremes, I know, but if it's doing that, your stress level is gonna be back and forth, especially if it's taking you six months to build your PL to where it is. So adjusting that position size. But if we take it in, con in the context of loss, if your position size is small enough to, you can stomach the loss, it doesn't matter what happens in the day. What happens is many multiples of the day, then we can bring this stress level down into the end the sort of neutral level. Now, one thing is guys, obviously we don't wanna have it so such, such a small position size, it's almost irrelevant. I know a lot of people say it's gotta be irrelevant, but then what's the point? We're trying to make money, right? We're trying to make as much money as we can with as little risk as possible. So we need to have the position size at a decent level. There's no point having it at just a ridiculously small amount that's making no impact on our account. We need to have it so that it does make an impact, but not enough that it's such an impact, if that makes sense. I'm sure you, I'm sure you get the point. Right, so then it comes down to, okay, fear of loss, we need to try and negate that fear of loss. These are the, the sort of four pillars, if you like, to trading that we always come back to, and it's worth mentioning here. One is having that plan that we wanna to stick to and we believe in. That's the key to the plan, guys. We've gotta believe in it. If we don't believe in it, we're gonna break the rules and it's easy to become uh, poorly disciplined. So good, solid trading plan that has good risk management structure. The conditions we're trading, if they're too volatile, it's making us nervous and making us stressed and giving us performance anxiety, then back off back off or reduce the position size right down just to use it a training period if you need to state uh, a state sorry that's obviously our mental state we've talked about this before if you're in a nervous concerned state whether it is fear of loss position size whatever you are going to have this performance anxiety you need to dial that back and reassess that however you get yourself back into the peak state whether it's you know some kind of meditation or music or going for a walk or whatever suits you again we've done a video on that before and finally, number four is the risk. Come back down to the position size, but all within the trading plan sphere of the risk is acceptable and you can handle a risk. You can come back from a loss if you have a losing day, a losing period. It's not a big issue. Dialing that down to that acceptable level. But of course, you know, keeping it at a point where we're actually making some money uh, along the way. So anyway, guys, performance anxiety in the trading sphere what are your thoughts on that? Comments in the comments section below. Do you have this when you come into a trading day? I know that I've had this before when I've come in, I've felt really you know, geared up for the day. It's gonna be a volatile day. I need to make some money today. I should be making a bit amount of money. And ultimately, you know, I don't think that's ever done me any good. I've always been better when I've come in. I've got, you know what, there's something coming out today or it's due to be a big day or I'm expecting it to be a big day, whatever it may be. Let's just see what comes out. Let's just chill out a little bit, dial down, have a look at the market, gauge the market conditions, have your plan, what are you looking to do, what are your levels, where you wanna get involved in, what sort of size we're we looking at today, this, that, and the other. Okay, now let's just get into the flow. Get into the flow, and soon enough, it's from a day trader's perspective, by the way, as soon enough, you start to get into the flow, get into the rhythm of the market, you know, a few setups up here, take a few setups, get into the get into the groove, get some money coming in, lose maybe a little bit, gain a bit, gain a bit, and then it goes away and you get back into hopefully this kind of sweet spot that we're looking for and that disappears completely. All right, guys, thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And otherwise, take care, keep the risk managed. See you in the next one. Goodbye.